so I'm back from my post office uh, run. Um, I had to drop off a package for my eBay. Um, I sold a motherboard processor. Um, yeah, so now we were talking about cameras and equipment. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of competition nowadays. Like uh, when I started posting videos on YouTube, um, when this was all very new, very few people knew um, the technical aspect and you you really any video had an ad and people would watch it but now uh, I watch my old videos and they they are pretty weak like there's not much editing and all the stuff even the camera work is really not that good so forget about editing and I didn't really do much editing anyway. What I did was uh, uh, recorded uh, with a camera and then uploaded it. But uh, and it was uh, 1080p or less footage. But uh, I mean, of course, you need to find out the content. Like right now, I'm trying to make a vlog about the. Um, uh, cameras and tools that uh, that can give you the edge um, so like a lot of people are using um, regular GoPros even GoPro 10 uh, for vlogging and they just can't get the footage like uh, you could with uh, no oh my I'm thinking about it. okay that was forgot it was the wrong way yeah not very good at multitasking Okay, so uh, what were we saying? Um, so yeah, the camera equipment is very important. Uh, if you really are not very good with, uh, or you don't have a cameraman and you don't uh, know what angle will be the best, uh, you want to get a camera like this, GoPro Fusion and record. Tools are really important, and uh, that 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 you need good sound, good stable image. Uh, you need angles. I mean, you you just need to do a lot of work. Even though you, it might look simple, but it's not. You can't just start recording on a camera and let it run. Uh, so you have to do editing. If you don't do editing properly, then you would be uh, not getting many views in your videos, uh, you know, of course, uh, certain, uh, exceptions are there, like when I made a Supra video, even though it was very basic, it just, uh, got a lot of views because, you know, Supras are Supras, so, uh, so, but you can only do so much, but you have to make sure the videos are, uh, easy on your eyes when you're watching, and you can't just make videos, that are just uh, put there without uh, 
any effort. Right now I'm just trying to see how long I can record. I believe I have two hours of recording time. My battery is at 80% and I believe my storage capacity is at uh, almost an uh, hour and a half. So we'll see. I've never really recorded that big of a footage so we'll see I'm allowed to I mean I'm really not doing anything except for talking about uh, what I am doing uh, with my camera setup so my goal is to uh, have uh, on my bike I have uh, multiple camera angles different GoPros including a 360 and have a wireless Bluetooth microphone hooked up to one of the cameras to get the audio out of it. Um, I do have a vlogger set up with a mono microphone and I don't like it because uh, I guess this is the microphone is not very good. It starts clipping at uh, high wind, high speed, the bike is loud. Uh, but if I have uh, multiple sources of audio, I could probably pick the best audio source. Uh, so. Uh, Sometimes, if the camera is away from the wind, it will pick up, uh, you know, less or no wind noise, and that might be the one that you want to use. Uh, but inside a car, it's not a problem. I mean, this, uh, the same camera on my bike, like the GoPro Fusion, uh, even though it has great sound inside a car, because a car is, of course, uh, this is a Prius, so it's very quiet, uh, but there's no wind noise inside. Uh, on a bike you don't have that option that's why I was looking for an external microphone option for this camera but apparently the only way to do it is through an extra external or extra uh, voice recorder so you will have to do post processing like you have to add the audio to the video part from two different uh, basically two different devices devices you have to sync it that is something I have not done yet and I would like to do that course then you have uh, a lot of things you can do with the video work too you can add music you can do all that stuff and I don't know if I I did try audio clips a long time ago but that gave me a copyright violation uh, so you have to learn that aspect too you can't add video um, I also turn the radio down because you don't want to have uh, uh, something copyrighted playing in the background and uh, lose the rights to your video because the music is not yours uh, but you can do free read, uh, music and then put in there if you like to like you can if your audio is really bad you can probably mask it with the music uh, like some uh, bike riders do um, but that gets rid of the real the, music. the best thing would be to have great sound uh, not just great video and great sound on your bike and that's what my goal is so I'm looking at the not necessarily the most expensive camera but I'm 360 camera is my choice right now I mean I don't think you can get better camera option because it's so stable and so good image and then you can do post-processing so that's what I'm gonna use uh, plus uh, plus of what I'm gonna do is uh, I for audio, I think I'm going to use a stereo microphone in my helmet uh, uh, camera input and then I'm going to also use uh, another Bluetooth microphone. Multiple recording, multiple way to capture and of course the uh, 360 will capture audio when the bike slows down so that, you know, it's usable when the bike is stationary, you know, then it captures all the sound, great sound. Uh, from around engine noise all that stuff but it will not do very well when there is a lot of noise wind noise uh, I need to also put some dead kitty stuff here on the uh, on the microphone to block the wind noise uh, I haven't done so yet but uh, I think I need to try and see if it makes uh, even if, if, if it improves a little bit it's really worth it especially on the, and um, I, I don't think I have the, I mean the camera itself is waterproof, but I don't think I have a waterproof case. Um, in case the camera drops, uh, you want to have, a, 
I mean the Kickstarter waterproof cases are good not just for water protection like they're good for if your camera drops it will protect it of course if the car goes over your camera then that case is not going to do much but if it drops and rubs against the ground it's much easier to replace those cases than the actual camera and that's uh, a lot of people have destroyed their GoPro 360 because of that reason I barely use mine so it really um, isn't like new condition so um, but I think I'm gonna use it more and the reason for that is because uh, I'm now able to have the tools and ability to uh, make really nice videos out of this camera uh, which I did not have the tools or the ability to do it before um, so um, yeah so I'll be updating more and more videos using these tools um, necessarily the most expensive tools like I I was just watching a video last night of this girl making a, a, a comparison video about the three different types of camera one of them was a, a regular a Sony camera with a vlogger use like it could do 4k you can switch the lens and stuff like that but that camera is too bulky for vloggers I don't think that is a great camera choice for somebody who wants to carry around plus it has a very bad because it's bulky your hand is gonna get tired it's not gonna be easy to record long vlogs and uh, stabilization is not really that good on it so that camera is not what you want to use for vlogging so that camera is out it doesn't matter what the pros are I mean, it would be great for recording uh, uh, videos if you are doing it, not just your personal vlogs, like of something else, and you are you can focus on the shot, you know, all the stuff. If you have a camera, man, that's different. But if you're doing it by yourself, that camera is out. Then uh, there was a, a gimbal, DJI uh, gimbal camera, the little mini one. Uh, but the problem with that camera is. Uh, it's got the fixed battery you can't change it and also the gimbals are good in certain aspects like uh, uh, the gimbals are not very good uh, first of all uh, you know there's a motor moving around and that kind of generates kind of noise if it's a really quiet environment uh, you can hear the noise also uh, stabilization is there but it's not better than 360 cameras like uh, uh, the best stabilization I've seen is on the 360 cameras, period. Uh, uh, you can use the gimbal cameras if you, uh, if you want uh, to do vlogging, but they're not suitable for all, uh, all types of scenarios. So, again, 360 cameras win. I think they are the best choice. The only problem is that uh, this, uh, you know, they're big. Uh, at least if you go with the GoPro Fusion, it's not lightweight and it does quite a bit of processing. So the battery life is also also pretty low. Um, I mean, I mean, not really compared to GoPro. Like I've been doing. It's supposed to give me two hours. I'm at 71 percent, which is good. All I'm doing is recording, and I think I have like uh, 30 minutes of footage so far. 70 percent means that I would, yeah, the battery should be enough for this card setup. So, so you know, two hours of recording is really good. Uh, you really, you really don't. Uh, have that long of footage anyway if you really but post processing you know if you have a more footage to work with you can add it scenes out because uh, you can pick the best 
uh, moments out of your recording. You don't have to have a, a you know, a, all of it playing back. You know, you can choose the best moments. Uh, I mean, that's just like uh, editing the clip, literally, you know. Um, and vlog videos are really easy to edit. It's not very hard. Uh, uh, but yeah, it depends on your environment. Uh, bike videos are really uh, hard to work with. And part of the reason is because uh, there's so many things you have to focus on. The sound quality and you have to focus on um, you have to focus on camera angling you can't really when you're riding a bike you can't really do any uh, like if you have a camera on your helmet then yeah of course you're gonna uh, be able to point in the direction where you're looking but again uh, that doesn't give you the view uh, like the back view of what other people are looking at behind you or you know how it just doesn't give you the full view so it's good view that you you, you but you, you really have a lot of blind spots behind you but this uh, not that it's gonna help you ride better but it's just gonna give you more of a better footage angles that you want in a uh, on a bike and then of course uh, ideally you would want multiple microphone placed in a different areas like uh, one maybe close to the exhaust uh, and then you can pick and choose which sound you want you can control like if you want to hear the engine noise you can hear the you can turn that microphone that's close to exhaust up and then uh, if you want to hear more voice, you can turn the uh, microphone in your helmet up. Uh, so you know that that way you can um, you can literally uh, improve the sound quality. But if you're gonna use a mono microphone, I don't think that will be like I had to literally learn how to turn a mono microphone so you can actually hear sound from both uh, both speakers on my laptop uh, to make it basically stereo and it's not that easy um, you you really need to uh, and then uh, it sounds basically the same because again it's only one microphone it doesn't give you the depth of a stereo microphone uh, which is important if you really want good quality of course you don't want the noise you want good good sound and so we'll see how this works uh, so far I'm gonna play with the footage on a good role to see if I find any deals um, so yeah that's uh, my routine I'm gonna shut you off right now 